what's up guys so yesterday i was not feeling the best um like i said uh it was pretty bad workout yesterday was the worst workout i've had on my cut um today it wasn't that bad i again felt like i was gonna puke i'm not, I'm not sure why but i haven't been taking my bcaas after i work out so i think i'm going to take some of that today kind of see if that helps me recover better and see how i feel to come tomorrow now i want to just do a little update on how i'm feeling and how the cut is going so the cut's going well i did go up in a little weight um after this weekend which i knew was going to happen because it's east it was easter on sunday and i accounted for that i knew that was going to happen but about today i'm back down to 190. so uh, my lowest weigh in thus far from this cut though has been 188 uh, 188 point something and I have not weighed that that low since I was probably like 16 17 so like seven eight years ago that was a while so I'm very happy with w where I am like I never thought that I would be breaking 180 and I would be weighing or 190 I never thought I'd be breaking 190 and being down to like 188 so i know it's doable i'm not worried that about that i'm not gonna get back to that this week i know for sure i am um i have meal prepped some um asparagus uh some stir fry some chicken stir fry with red green yellow peppers um and some chicken with some sauce i have some white rice i also meal prepped a little it's basically like a chipotle bowl but it's obviously lower with calories and i didn't really cook with oil and things like that so it's lower with fat it basically has uh, white rice uh 96 four ground beef kidney beans corn and some salsa so that's i have those three things that i meal prepped so i'm not too worried about you know with my weight i have salad baked chicken i have a ton of food basically um, the one thing that, as far as food goes, I'm, I still struggle with the sweets. Now, one, I think I need to cut back on the sweets, not because I'm cutting, but at the same time, I'm, I feel like when I was younger and I went through puberty, I broke out with whenever I ate chocolate. Well, now, technically, you're, I'm going through puberty again, went on testosterone, so I'm breaking out again. I've noticed any time I eat chocolate, I break out, so that's definitely one thing that i really need to cut on cut back on i do struggle with it but you know my my saving grace thing is halo top like that is definitely what i eat to help me curb those like sweet cravings and things like that um so as far as like the food i'm not really worried the weekend yes i do kind of struggle sometimes just because like either we go we're going somewhere like for the past month ever since i started my cut the weekend i started my cut we've had somewhere to go um either saturday or sunday and saturday i work out but sunday is my one rest day that i have i work out from monday through saturday six days a week almost every week so whenever i do have the sunday rest day i mean i really can't like i don't i really want that rest day and so i don't you know, if I ate out the night before, I don't burn off that sodium and whatnot. So, but I keep it to a minimum. I don't overdo it. Definitely don't over, don't overeat, don't binge eat, that type of thing. Um, you know, like I said, this past weekend was Easter. So that just kind of played, but I still didn't overeat on Easter. So I was pretty happy with that as well. Um, now, training wise. So training today, I don't know if it's because, like I said, I haven't been taking my BCAAs for the past few, I don't know, past almost week since after I work out. If I'm really feeling a strength, I'm really feeling a strength loss. Like my strength is there for cardio because I can definitely do the cardio, no problem. But when it comes to lifting, like you guys have seen, I don't have like that great equipment or that heavy equipment you know i have a standard five foot uh 10 pound bar with um what two 10 pounds and a five pound on there and that 
is what I use for squat and overhead press and deadlifts now. And I just, the strength was not there today. I don't know if it's now really hitting me like, like, because I'm about six weeks in with my cut. I don't know if it's like hitting me now strength wise or what, but it was just like, and I really like, I felt like I was going to puke and I felt like that yesterday. So strength wise, it's just kind of like, what the hell's going on? You know? And so today my goal is to just eat a bunch of micronutrients, um, a lot of high volume, low calorie foods and, kind of see like how that helps me feel tomorrow also um there are there were days you know i used to work out at like 6 45 in the morning i don't know if the time had to do with anything because ever since i've been doing my cut i really haven't worked out that early um i think maybe once or twice i did so i don't know if working out early had to play with it or just because like this weekend was so busy and I just was feeling sick to my stomach or I ate something bad, but the feeling of feeling sick was still there yesterday or today, this morning. So I don't know if just my body is so overexhausted and I'm not, I'm pushing my body because I'm kind of at the point where I need to push my body in order to hit my goals. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you know, there's a few different factors, but overall I'm pretty sure the decrease in strength is from my cut because, you know, I'm cutting my calories. I'm not intaking a bunch, so I'm not exerting a lot. You know, I don't have like a full force strength that's going to come out of nowhere. So that's base. But overall, the cut is going well. Like weight wise, I'm doing well. And then I have one of those body analyzer scales uh, that I picked up at Walmart. And my muscle mass is going up. My BMI is going down. My body fat percentage is going down. And that's pretty much what I like. I'm really looking forward to. I'm seeing more definition. My stomach is looking smaller. My legs are looking, my calves are looking good. My thighs are looking good. My arms. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I set out to do. Like I am feeling 100% great. So that is what matters to me. Um, like the way I look, I feel good. Why I, I feel 100% great, you know, post workout like like now i feel great that i hit that workout i feel good i'm so happy i hit that workout but when i was when i was lifting when i was uh it was leg day when i was doing it i was just like my god i'm i'm going to puke after this rep i'm going to puke so but like i said i'm gonna try to take some bcaas today see if that kind of plays um anything and kind of helps me out and yeah so we'll go from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this little update um, it's just been raining all day today, so it's uh, not that great of a day, but hope you guys enjoy this update. I will catch you guys in the next one. Please also don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below, say hi, whatever. Just I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.